Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist, number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use frequently deadly medical procedures and toxic pharmaceutical drugs. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number today and every day on the bright side is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in our second segment today. Bottom of the hour, we're going to be talking to Troy Opperly about my all-time favorite longevity product, my second favorite longevity product, the Bioluminightly Essence after the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You guys know I love the Beyond, the uh, Bioluminightly Essence. We talk about it pretty much on a daily or, or two or three or four or five times a day basis. And uh, I had the good fortune, the serendipity to just run into uh, Troy Opperly, the guy who formulated the product and designed the product. And we'll be talking to him about the Bioluminightly Essence and about probiotics in general and what makes the Bioluminightly Essence such a stupendous nutritional supplement. We'll be talking about that in the bottom of the hour. So we'll get your calls here in our second segment, 844 236 6010. If you have questions about skincare, probiotics, digestion, health, you want to get off your meds or help a loved one get off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, and I know you're out there with the success stories because I hear about them all the time, be generous. Tell, uh, Share your success stories with folks, and you can help change lives too. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, we'll get your calls here in our next segment. As I say, we'll be talking to Troy Opperly about the Bioluminightly Essence in our third and fourth segment. Okay. So, skin health. Even doctors, not necessarily the sharpest knives in the drawer when it comes to health and wellness and how we take care of our, our body and skin. Shock, shock. Surprise, surprise. The silliness of the medical model, well chronicled, quite obvious when you look at health statistics. Yet even these days, doctors are understanding how important good bacteria probiotics are when it comes to having healthy, beautiful skin. Even doctors are recognizing how important the digestive system is when it comes to having good, strong, healthy skin. According to Dr. Whitney Bow, clinical professor of dermatology at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City, who's researched the effects of probiotics specifically on acne, quote, the benefits of probiotics are that they introduce healthy bacteria to the gut and create a barrier to reduce inflammation, which can trigger skin conditions. And there is compelling evidence that probiotics hold promise for treating acne and rosacea, unquote. If you have dry skin, if you have any skin issue, you have an internal problem. If you have a skin issue, you got an inside issue. If you have an outside issue, you got an inside issue. That's the bottom line, everything we've been talking about, everything we will be talking about when it comes to skin health. Now, there are occasions when you'll have something called contact issues, contact dermatitis, 
topical dermatitis. This is very rare. Some folks are allergic to nickel or latex, or uh, you can have something called concrete dermatitis, where uh, construction workers will will get rashes when they're making bricks or making making cement or concrete. But for the most part, skin health issues are internal health issues. If you have dry skin. If you have eczema, if you have psoriasis, if you're breaking out, chances are really good. You got a food problem and a digestive problem. And even if it looks like you got a topical issue, like you have a, a skin issue, the likelihood is very slim that you're going to be able to do something to really create a change, a permanent change, or permanently reverse or permanently cure your skin uh, skincare problem by rubbing a product on your skin. And keep in mind, if you do have an internal problem and you correct it, your eczema is going to disappear, never to return again. If you do have acne that's due to a zinc deficiency or it's due to a problem with blood sugar or insulin or dairy, all of which are associated with breakouts and pimples and acne, if you do have any of these problems and you, you add 50 milligrams of zinc to your daily nutritional supplement regimen, if you throw in 20,000 IU of vitamin A, if you eliminate food, food allergens, if you use probiotics, if you use digestive enzymes, if you use nutritional strategies, you're never going to have zits again, ever. Pro proactive can't say that. Benzyl peroxide can't do that. There's no topical products that can permanently eliminate a skin problem because by the time you see the zit, it's over. That's the end. By the time you see the eczema rash or the, or the psoriasis plaque, it's over. That's how the body has resolved the nutritional deficiency or the digestive problem. You can't treat the, egg, the uh, psoriasis by putting something on the plaque, and you can't treat your acne by putting something on your zit. That doesn't even make sense. Yet we are so entranced by this, this Helena Rubinstein model of taking care of the skin where you rub something on the top, and, and it's understandable. It looks like it's on the skin, certainly. We're so hypnotized by this idea that we think we can rub our acne cream on our acne and we won't have acne anymore. And the models and the, the, the movie stars and the, and the supposed healthcare professionals, doctors, tell us that we can't. Last week, or last, uh, yesterday, we dissected the ingredient deck on the go-to, or one of the go-to moisturizing products recommended by dermatologists and other supposed skincare professionals. It's called Eucerin. Now, good news is Eucerin is pretty cheap stuff. You only have to fork out 10 bucks or so to get the stuff. But the bad news is it's not going to do anything except cover your skin with a coating of wax and oil and two different preservatives, two of them, as if one is not enough, two, and nasty ones at that. As we said yesterday, Eucerin, like most other skincare products, is 100% water, wax, and filler. There is nothing in Eucerin or Lubriderm, for that matter, or any of the other go-to dermatological solutions for dry skin that can do anything for your dry skin except coat it. And unless you consider mineral oil to be an active ingredient, there's nothing in there. Mineral oil is the active ingredient. I don't know how that ever became an active ingredient, but that's what Eucerin claims is doing the work. Mineral oil. Go get yourself some mineral oil for two bucks and rub it on your skin if you really want mineral oil in your dry skin. This is so scandalous. This is so insulting, so offensive, so greedy. This corporate strategy that exploits our tendency to confuse mineral oil with moisture to confuse product with skin, to com confuse the waxy coating with, with moisturization. Now keep in mind, this is the go-to moisturizing product for medical professionals and dermatologists, Eucerin. You know what the most fascinating feature of all uh, of these, the, the moisturizing standards, the ingredient decks on all of these products? The most fascinating thing to me is that there's nothing in them that can do anything. They just coat. That blows me away. Now, if you really want to have, if you really want to make a correction, if you really want to reverse something that's going on in the skin, you got to use certain ingredients. And most importantly, you got to use vitamin A and you got to use vitamin C topically. You may want to throw in some zinc there, but, but vitamin A and C are the go-to ingredients for fine lines and wrinkles, for eczema, for psoriasis, for dry skin, for any kind of anti-aging result that you want on your skin, or just for keeping your skin healthy. Vitamin A, vitamin C, and not just any vitamin A, it has to be retinol or retinoic acid, and not just vitamin C, but fatty vitamin C. Dry skin, like all health issues, is a cell issue. We always say on this program, all disease is cell disease. Well, guess what? All skin health issues are, are skin cell problems. you got to treat the skin cell. Do you think mineral oil is going to treat a skin cell? Is an emulsifier going to treat a skin cell? Is anything in your lubriderm or your eucerin going to treat a skin cell? No, no, and no. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We got Troy Opperly coming up in the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk about the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Troy is the formulator. Ran into him uh, serendipitously earlier or earlier this week. And, uh, and I... Uh, Hold on, I gotta get you on the program. I've been talking about the Biolumin Nightly Essence for now a couple of years, pretty much on a daily basis. And Troy said, I was wondering why the sales of the Biolumin Nightly Essence went up so much. And indeed, uh, I love the stuff. Absolutely love the stuff. I take six to 12 of them every day. I recommend everybody take six to 12 of them every day. And we're gonna talk about just why it, it's such a spectacular formulation. It's one of the few formulations that I've ever seen that combines digestive enzymes, proteolytic enzymes, protein dissolving enzymes with prebiotics, inulin, as well as multiple bacteria, 14 or 15 different strains of bifidus and lactobacillus bacteria. We'll talk to Troy about his formulation in the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls this segment, 844-236-6010. We do have a couple lines open for you. We are talking skin health, but if you have questions about any health issues, uh, including skin health issues or skin, in, skin product ingredient issues, We'd love to hear from you, 844-236-6010. Tomorrow, or on our next program, we'll talk about a couple of really interesting ingredients. Well, one's an ingredient, one super interesting ingredient that you'll find in skincare products. And like all skincare ingredients, there's a lot of misunderstandings around this one. And then we'll talk about one of the major components in skin that keeps the barrier intact, keeps the skin moisturized. And this is a component whose deficiencies are associated with eczema and dry skin and rapidly aging skin as well as sensitive skin. And it's something, uh, it's a, a component in the skin that you don't hear a lot about. We'll talk about that next week as we continue discussing skin health on the bright side in honor of my new Truth Treatment products. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com. You can also check out my Facebook page. We blog and post regularly skincare topics at the Truth with Ben. Uh, Truth with Ben, that's the name of the Facebook page. Also, you can check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, 844-236-6010. Steve in Virginia, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Hola, Steven. Do we have Steve? Steve, Steve, Steve. Going once. we got a dial tone, but we don't have Steve. Okay, well, never mind. We'll hang up on Steve here. Oh, I just disconnected Steve. Sorry, Steve. I don't know what happened to you, but uh, if you're listening, call back. We'll get you up here. Steve wanted to talk about skin health, I think, is what it said. Uh, we'll get Troy Opperly up here in the bottom of the hour, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. So dry skin, like all skin health issues, like all health issues, is a cell issue. All disease is cell disease. Skin health issues are no different. In the case of dry skin, you got a disorder of skin cells. You've got a disorder of skin moisturizing cells. You've got a disorder of the cells that make the barrier. They're called keratinocytes. Site, C-Y-T-E, is always the ending for cell. Keratinocytes. And then you've got skin moisturizer cells. Those are called sebocytes. Sebocytes and keratinocytes. Those are the two main cell types that go awry when you have dry skin. Dry skin is a keratinocyte issue and a sebocyte issue and you ain't going to help your keratinocytes or sebocytes with 99.99% of the skincare products you're using. In fact, as it turns out, you're going to suppress the activity of these cells, keratinocytes and, and sebocytes by using a moisturizing cream. Listen, I'm going to cut to the chase right now, okay? Skincare products, the vast majority of them, 99.9% .9 of them are things that your skin does not want and does not need. Your skin is very disturbed and angry with you when you rub your eucerin or your moisturizing lotion on it because now, not only does it have a problem with sensitivity and dryness and skin cells, now it's got to metabolize the wax and the surfactant and the emulsifier and the preservative and the fragrance and the, and the fake oil and the oil. Not to mention the 90% of it or 95% of it that's water. Maybe the skin doesn't have to metabolize the water, but what the heck are you paying for that stuff for? This is a scandalous idea. How we take care of the skin is scandalous. Now, it wasn't scandalous when Helena Rubinstein discovered it or invented it or, or first brought it to the market. Helena Rubinstein was a nice gal, you know, a nice lady. She came from Russia. She wanted to help women. But she didn't know anything about the skin. So why are we still using these crazy products? Why are we still dosing our skin with wax and oil and preservative when it isn't doing anything for the skin? It just puts an added burden on the skin. 
It does something else for the skin to have to deal with and isn't helping us. Vitamin A, vitamin C. The reason I put together the Truth Treatment products was to give you an opportunity to dose your skin with super high concentrations of vitamin A and vitamin C. You're not going to find that anywhere. And the rest of the ingredients, you know, vitamin A, uh, my true serum is 80% vitamin C, okay? The other 20% is going to be a, a little bit of chamomile extract, a little bit of licorice extract, some cholesterol, which is super important for skin healing, and then um, some transdermal penetrants, ingredients that help improve the penetration of the active ingredients. And that's it, you guys. That's all you need. The reason why you have bookkeepers... The reason why you have bookkeepers in the skincare business is because bookkeepers care about the bottom line. So they're going to work on the bottom line. They don't care about your skin. A bookkeeper doesn't know about your skin. A banker doesn't know about your skin. A marketer doesn't know about your skin. What is a bookkeeper doing in the skincare business anyway? What is a banker doing in the skincare business anyway? They're in the business because they want to make some money. They don't care about your skin. Now, I don't have a problem with making money, of course. I'm a capitalist. I like money. But it's not fair to do it at the expense of ripping somebody off. If you have a bookkeeper who's running your skincare company, ask her or him what they're doing in the business. Do they care about your skin? Do they know what eczema is? Do they know what dry skin is? Do they know what ingredients are? Why are they in the business? Except to take advantage of you. It's not fair. It's not nice. It's dirty pool. All right, I'm sorry to go off on a tangent, try to keep the show on a positive note, but it just makes me angry. If you got dry skin, you got a skin health issue, period. You got dry skin or wrinkles or hyperpigmentation, you got a skin health issue. You got to address the health of the skin, and that means addressing the health of the body. Topically, it means vitamin A and vitamin C. Internally, it means probiotics, digestive enzymes, correcting digestive health issues. If you have any skin health problem, please understand the link between the digestive system and the skin is intimate. They're linked. There's no such thing as a skin health issue with some rare, rare exceptions. As I said earlier, some topical problems. There's no such thing with those rare exceptions, uh, with the exception of some topical issues. 99.9% .9 of your skin health issues are associated with the digestive system. And that should come as no surprise to anybody who's listened to this program for any length of time. Acne, eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, number one, think digestion, food. Uh, food intolerances, do a food diary, fast. Fasting is unbelievably helpful for skin health issues. Control your sugar intake. Get yourself on a probiotic, a good probiotic supplement, a good digestive enzyme supplement. Make sure you're eating fermented foods. And then uh, as far as supplements go, 20,000 IU of vitamin A, a must-have for all skin health issues. Vitamin C as well, a must-have for all skin health issues. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Use essential fatty acids. Use the ultimate EFAs. Dry skin is your skin begging, crying for essential fatty acids. Omega-3s and omega-6s, they're both important. Some nutritionists will say, oh, don't worry about omega-6s. I've, I've heard people who I like, people who I trust say, don't worry about omega-6s because we get them in the diet. Baloney. Yes, we theoretically get them in the diet, but the problem is the foods that have the omega-6s are processed and heated and cooked, and we don't get the omega-6s either. Omega-6s are super important as anti-inflammatories and as wound healers. Omega-3s are important as anti-inflammatories and as wound healers. And then topically, make sure you're using vitamin C and vitamin A. And when it comes to vitamin A, make sure you're using your vitamin A in the retinol form or perhaps the retinoic acid form. Be a little bit careful because they both can be somewhat... Uh, aggressive and stimulating and always mix your A and C together. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back with Troy Opperly. We're going to talk some probiotics and digestive enzymes. Specifically, we'll talk about the Biolumin Nightly Essence when we come back from our break. We're back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you've listened to this program for any length of time, you know that I love the Biolumin Nightly Essence. We talk about it on a daily basis. I love probiotics in general. I've been working with probiotics since the 1980s as a pharmacist. I used to recommend probiotics to... Uh, women who had yeast infections or anybody who's on an antibiotic, I'd always recommend a probiotic. And these days, not a day goes by without an article or a study coming out verifying or corroborating the importance of using a good probiotic supplement and getting fermented foods, uh, getting um, enough fermented foods in your diet. I was on the phone a couple of, uh, last week I was on the phone with uh, somebody who had heard me on the radio and we were chatting uh, and uh, happened to mention probiotics and I don't remember how it happened, but 
uh, one thing led to another, and it turns out that this guy I was talking to on the phone, who's now become a f good friend of mine over the last week or two, we've had several conversations. Uh, anyway, uh, he was saying, well, you know what? I know the guy who makes the bioluminightly essence. I was like, are you kidding me? Long story short, I, uh, uh, he hooked me up with Troy. We had a conversation. I said, Troy, you got to get on the program. Troy is the founder and the CEO of Enzymology Research Center. He is one of the world's leading experts in enzymes. And we're going to talk about how enzymes relate to probiotics. As you know, the, the uh, bioluminightly essence, one of the <clears throat> excuse me, neatest things about it, in addition to having a full spectrum, broad spectrum of bacteria, also has great uh, enzymes in there. And Troy is one of the guys who was one of the first guys to combine probiotics with digestive enzymes. Troy's an athlete, white a white water raft guide. He's bicycled solo across America. He's in great shape. He certainly doesn't look his age. And he credits enzymes for his, uh, for his superior state of health and his ability to stay injury free. Please welcome to the bright side, Troy Opperly. Greetings, Troy. Ben, wonderful to be here. Good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. So, you're the man who has combined enzymes with probiotics. Stroke of genius. What's the thinking? What was the logic there? No, it's actually, um, I, I always attribute most of my, my things to, to being lazy. Uh, oh, <laughs> so to wanting to combine everything in one? Is that the idea? Well, yeah, that the fact that, I mean, uh, if you cal I think if the average person calculated out, you know, if they, how many bottles they opened up every morning, you know, dumped one capsule out, you know, and then put the cap back on, they'd probably end up spending a week of their life just opening and closing bottles. That's so, funny. My, so my that's what you were thinking? That's what you were thinking yeah, when you put the... Yeah, the, 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 the couple of reasons. I mean, one, probiotics I always take before I go to bed on an empty stomach, and I do the same thing with systemic enzymes. So why not put them together into one, one, uh, awesome. one, one, one dose? Why before bed? What's the thinking there? Uh, again, the, the body's in the restoration recuperation mode. Uh, it's, it's ready to kind of restore the body back from all the damage you've done to it that day. And especially as an athlete, I mean, you... You know, some of the things I've, <laughs> I've done to my body have uh, caused extensive damage. So, you know, you want to give the body the tools it needs to repair itself during that critical time. So when you get up in the morning, you want to be refreshed and ready to hit it hard again the next day. Now, when you, talk, when you talk about athletic repair, I assume you mean all repair, not just athletic repair. So repair of the gut, too, right? Absolutely. Right. And so nighttime, you'll get increased repair of dig uh, the digestive lining, the epithelia, and the connective tissue, et cetera, if you use them at night? Yes. Very nice. And how did you select, of all the hundreds of different, spac different bacteria you could come up with, what, how did you come up with these 14, or I think it's 14, right? 14 or so bacteria. Yep, 14, yep. Did you, yeah, we, was there a logic to the uh, strategy to picking those 14? Was there a logic to it? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to look again. I mean, that they're, the bifidobacterium are the ones that live, you know, predominantly in the large intestines. So we wanted to make sure that we had a, uh, a nice offering of, of different ones. And if you look at, you know, in, in regards to those four bacteria that are that are that are the bifidobacterium um, genus, you know, you'll see that they'll obviously consume consume fecal fecal matter. They'll they'll um, basically produce B vitamins. And again, the, the main thing that we wanted to look at was just the, the, having the colon be more acidic, right? So they lower the pH. So again, that, that'll keep some of the, the, uh, the bad bugs uh, in check, so to speak. The uh, bifido, and, the bifidobacterium lower the pH also? I know the lactobacillus yep. does. Yeah? Okay. Yep. yep. Okay, yep. So, you got, yep. so you drop the pH in the large intestine. Yep, and then same thing with the small intestine. So again, we put 10 different strains in there. Again, there's a lot more variety as far as what was available uh, um, back then in regards to what each of the particular strains have been studied regarding, you know, what they do. So obviously acidophilus has been around and is probably the most well-known by the average person, but then also looking at some of the other uh, studies that were out there at that time. Uh, you know, and again, it just kind of goes back to, if you, if you look, I think like, uh, um, uh, you know, some of these work with, with, with very, the studies are very specific, right? Like they'll look at um, C. C difficile, 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 right? Diarrhea, um, you know, uh, lots of... Causing diarrhea. You're talking, about, you're, talking about, you're talking about causing diarrhea. C. difficilis as a cause yeah. of diarrhea? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that you go, that, you know, the, the pathogens, so these inhibit those pathogens from taking root mm. in the intestinal tract. Studies have been done showing that, so you go, okay, great, you, you probably want to include that particular strain in there. Also, obviously, 
the scientists don't exactly agree, but 60-80% of your immune system is in your intestinal tract, so uh, in your gut, so to speak. So if you have an immune problem or an autoimmune problem kind of thing, probiotics are like a must-have. Yeah, absolutely. You know, huge as far as immune stimulators uh, and then just increasing your, your body's effectiveness to, to kill off not just foreign invaders, but again, any type of, uh, um, if we look at the food, I mean, like you were mentioning about um, probiotics, there's not a day or a week that doesn't go by that you see all these different studies and research. But on, on the other side of that, if you look, there's probably not a week that goes by that you don't hear of some massive E. coli or, or, or mm. food recall or, I mean, just the food machine that's out there, I go, is not, you know, it's not going to be, it's not working in your favor. Let's just put it that way. I go, you've got to protect yourself from the foods that we're eating today. So this so is pro- a great way to do that. Probiotics can protect you against E. coli from, say, spinach or from processed meat, et cetera. Using a probiotic supplement can be protective. Absolutely. Nice. And now how about the yeah, idea? I mean, Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I just have to I'll share a personal story. I mean, because going back to um, probably 20 years ago, I mean, that, that uh, one of the few times in my life I had food poisoning from eating some type of uh, fish. And, and, I mean, I personally thought, I mean, that was one of the worst experiences I've ever gone through in my entire life. And I'm, I'm good at, you know, inflicting pain, you know, on myself through my athletic endeavors. But this was, this was way beyond anything I'd ever want anybody to experience. And, I mean, it was kind of like, you're going to die, you know, type You wish type you could scenario. die. Probably you wish yeah, you could just, die. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Right. So I, I took a, it was a, it was a combination of plantarum and salivarius uh, 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 probiotics. And, and I am talking within 30 minutes. It was as if it never happened. And wow. Tell me again. What told me? What did, tell me the names of those. Years ago. Uh, tell me those names of those bacteria. Uh, Lactobacillus plantarum. Okay. And the other one is Lactobacillus salivarius. Well, I know the I salivarius. Oh, are, they're both in the bioluminite essence, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So okay. those are those are pers- my personal favorites, just because of my own personal experience with that. That I know they work, and that that um, uh, and very quickly. Interesting. So how about the proteolytic enzymes? Is there a synergy between the proteolytic enzymes and the, uh, and the, uh, acid and the uh, uh, probiotics? Are they in there just as an, are they in there just as a, to, to get just to get both of these kinds of ingredients together, as you said, for ease, or is there a synergy between the two? And hang on to the answer to that question, Troy, because we've got to take a break. Okay. Don't go okay. away. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're talking to Troy Opperly, uh, formulator of the Biolumin Nightly Essence. And uh, we'll come back. We'll take a break and come back and get some more good health information and probiotic information on The Bright Side right after this. Don't go away. All right, we are back on The Bright Side talking to Troy Opperly of uh, the Enzymology Research Center, CEO of the Enzymology Research Center, about the, uh, his formulation and my favorite longevity product, or second favorite longevity product, the Biolumin Nightly Essence. So, Troy, enzymes and probiotics, stroke a genius. You said that you did it for convenience, but is there a synergy between the two? Absolutely. If, um, if I, if when I just think about it, you think about the intestinal tract and the, the probiotics providing a nice, clean, healthy environment. What that does is it provides an opportunity for the systemic enzymes to come in there, be absorbed through the gut wall, travel into the bloodstream, and then circulate throughout the entire mm. body. What they're doing out there is what they do with, you know, in the digestive process as well. I mean, they only do two things. They speed things up and break things down. So there's a lot of things that are in the bloodstream and the tissues, the organs, the muscles that need to be cleaned out, especially during the evening. So as the, as the enzymes or systemic enzymes are working in the bloodstream, they'll filter all that stuff, break that stuff down through. Again, that's going to filter ultimately, you know, through the spleen, the kidney, or the, sorry, the spleen, the liver, and then the liver is going to dump that back into the colon, right? So, and then dump and then get that out of the system. So they work very symbiotically together. So that's why nice. the results that you feel when you get up in the morning are very comprehensive and very systemic, not just inside your digestive tract, but also in your circulatory, your muscles, everything. It's amazing. I, th- I think that's really interesting. There's, you know, when we hear enzymes, when a lot of people hear enzymes, they think digestive enzymes, but indeed enzymes are catalysts. The biological system couldn't work. Biology couldn't work without enzymes. So when you're taking your proteolytic enzymes, your digestive enzymes in, in the bioluminitely essence, you're going to get systemic benefits as well, correct? Anti-inflammatory benefits, pain benefits, blood thinning benefits, et cetera. No, correct? 
huge. Yeah, if you look at the, again, it wasn't just one you know, particular proteolytic enzyme. I mean, this is a complete panel. I mean, that's why this product was so, so cutting edge back 10 years ago. I mean, it still is today. It's still cutting, it's see, still cutting edge. You yeah. don't see stuff like this out there. I go, and the studies and research that have been done, you know, on protease, papain, bromelain, natokinase, and C-pros are uh, 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 astounding. I mean, there, there's, there's no doubt they've been verified and they do what they say they do. So that's why they're, they're, they're being recognized and utilized throughout the industry now. Okay, now pap- papain, bromelain, pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, I've been using yep. them for many years, but you had threw a couple in there that are very interesting. For example, the natokinase, lots of wonderful literature on natokinase for the circulatory system. And then I want you to tell us a little bit about the CPROS as well. So why don't you give a little blurb, a little, some of the highlights about the natokinase and some of the literature that's involved uh, that talks about natokinase for the circulatory system, the heart and the blood, and then talk a little bit about the CPROS as well. Sure. Natokinase, again, was kind of discovered by accident. You know, a Japanese researcher that was uh, in their culture, they eat natto as far as it's a food source, you know, fermented soybeans. So this was the, the main active component in that, which has led to, you know, that culture being a, a very healthy culture, relatively speaking, compared to other cultures in the world. So um, this particular enzyme, yeah, through the last, you know, uh, you know 10 plus years of research has shown that it'll, it'll, um, reduce blood viscosity, right? So it thins the blood, uh, and, and it also acts on and digests fibrin, which those, the, the fibrin is ultimately or could be ultimately responsible for uh, what we call strokes and heart attacks. So it, 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 it works very uh, um, efficiently and very um, methodically, and, it, and, it, and some doctors, uh, medical doctors, have, have, uh, um, are recommending it even. That's how... And it has no, this is the beautiful part of it. it. Enzymes have no negativity associated with them. There's no, no toxicity, toxicity side effects. There's yeah. no, there's, yeah, you can't take too many. You can't take too much. There's, there's, there's nothing. So like with these uh, people that are experiencing around some type of warfarin or Coumadin, uh, I mean, there's just serious complications and lots of adjusting and readjusting and whatnot. It's a, it's a very Testing, diagnostics. Process. You got you to have your blood yeah, tested and, every couple of months, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, and we're and 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 where natokinase got its kind of foot in the door. People, most people don't realize this was a was a product called Flight Tab, because when people take transoceanic flights and they sit in their seats for for you know, 10, yeah. 12, 14, 16, 18 hours, um, the the Clots. blood flow stops. Yeah, right? and it's happened to Steve Wallach. Clot. Happened to Steve. Steve Wallach. Did it really? Yeah, it happened to him. He he was out of commission for a couple months. I think he went to Australia, and uh, he ended up with a severe blood clot. That's exa- that's very well stated. So you're saying take this before if you take the well, he was, enzymes. He was, he was he was very fortunate because why the airlines? Because the airlines opened this up to all pharmaceutical industries as well as the nutrition industry. Said, hey, we need a solution because people are getting up off the flights, walking off, and then and then dying immediately after they get off the flight. And it's like there was a huge liability. So they came up with a product that has natokinase as well as a, a, a well-known antioxidant. I believe it was grapeseed. So they combined these two together, and it was a, called a product called Flight Tab. So if you take this product before you jump on one of those flights, again, it's what I, what I said. It, the enzymes do two things. They break things down, speed things up. So it just keeps the blood thin. It keeps it circulating. keeps it moving so that you don't – it basically alleviated that issue or liability for the airline industry. Very nice. No, but you could do the same thing with the bioluminitely essence. I'm going to Australia yep. here in yeah. a couple of weeks. Should I, should I pop uh, a whole bunch before I get on the plane? Well, just two. I mean, this, the, the, that's what, the other beautiful thing about this product is that the doses in here, you'll see that 2,000 FU, every single research study, clinical study that's been done on natokinase is at this level. So you don't need to you know, bring the For whole bottle or whatever or take the whole wow. bottle. Just take the two-capsule dosage and you're done. All right, that's awesome. Now, how about the rutin? Tell me about that. Rutin is a bi- for the um, listeners a bioflavonoid, I believe, and found in various it, uh, fruits and vegetables. What's what was the thinking there? Yeah, again, it's, it, it has a it, there's a historical um, perspective too. I mean, one of the first enzymes on the market uh, that's widely marketed. It's, probably, it's the best selling enzyme in the world. Was the first company, so I'm not going to take credit for that to use rutin with enzymes. But they they used uh, mainly animal based enzymes, which. For me, the, the, the plant-based or the fermented enzymes are, are, have a much wider pH. They do more work over a wider you know, range of, of uh, environments 
So the, I believe they're much more effective. But rutin, going back to that, is just a powerful antioxidant, and it, and it has anti, you know, powerful anti-inflammatory effects. So it works very nicely because that's what enzymes do. So a lot of times, whatever, and I tell people, whatever you, add, whatever enzymes are added to, they only do two things: they speed things down and break things up. So I don't care whether you add an enzyme to food; it's gonna, it, you're gonna absorb the food faster and get more out of it. If you take it with rutin, you take it with any other supplement. It's going to break those supplements down and get them to you faster, and you get get more out of them, you know. And it also is on the conversely on the other side. That's why if, if people are taking, let's say, insulin, right, and they start taking enzymes, you're going to have to adjust the level of insulin because enzymes speed things up and break things mm. down. You're going to be getting more out of that, so you so you need less of it. Now, now you call these systemic on the on the bottle. They say systemic enzyme blend, but you can get digestive benefits too, no? Yeah, absolutely. These are these are all protein-based enzymes, which, you know, if, if you're on one of those high-protein diets, mm-hmm. right, I would highly recommend taking a product like this because you're going to subject yourself to um, all the byproducts of protein digestion. So all the uric acid that's being produced, if your body's not breaking that down and you're not drinking plenty of water to eliminate that, I go, you're actually going to be causing more long-term damage to your organs than the short-term benefit that you're going to get from a little bit of weight loss. Hmm. And theoretically, anyway, when we ate protein foods, meat, they were supposed to have enzymes in them, weren't they? Of course, that doesn't occur with, with processed no. food. So, so not only are we getting crappy food and nutritionally deficient food, but we're getting enzyme, enzyme poor food, food that doesn't have enzymes in it. So you end up with digestive issues on top of everything else. Yep. Well, what is the yep, C process? What exactly is the C process? It's a it, proteolytic enzyme. I know that, but what is it? What, it Go ahead. Yeah, it's a very, very, very unique enzyme. In fact, it's my favorite enzyme. So from a, from a historical perspective, it was discovered back in the late 60s. So this is one of the oldest known as far as, uh, you know, and again, most of these enzymes, you know, it's no surprise that they're originated or came from Japan. So Japan is, uh, you know, in fact, most people don't know this, that the Japanese market is the largest enzyme market in the world. They sell more enzymes huh. because people get enzymes in japan you don't need as to medicine educate as, or sell people it's just they just buy enzymes because as they medicine know. they're using it as, as medicine or not just for digestion oh. but yeah oh. yeah like and c-pros in, in c-pros in japan is actually a, 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 a over like an otc over-the-counter drug so interesting um, they use it over there for or uh for any type of respiratory illnesses so we're talking you know from tuber- tuberculosis emphysema any kind of bronchial asthma bronchitis wow. Uh, you, Troy, I mean, and, Troy it's, and it's been recent. Go ahead. There's so much I want to talk to you about, but we're out of time. We got to get you oh. back. Is that fair? <laughs> we, it's, we only get an hour here. So can I? Uh, we'll get you back though, right? Maybe next week oh, or the absolutely. week after. Yeah, got this, so much more yeah, I want to talk. Exciting stuff, and and thank you. This is my favorite uh, longevity product. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. My, <laughs> I like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. We'll have to get you some of that. Thanks, Troy. We'll talk All to right. you soon, okay, thank buddy? Thank you. Take care. Okay, have a great bye. day. That was Troy Opperly uh, from Enzymology Research. And the formulator of my second favorite, or well, I will say one of my two favorite longevity products, the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470 if you're dealing with an autoimmune problem or a digestive problem or skin problem. Biolumin Nightly Essence. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.